Welcome to WSJ Off Duty. We are just kicking off summer this week and it is already inching over 100 degrees here in New York City. I don't know where you are, but I am up on the roof of the Wall Street Journal, which is why we have this baby pool, the lounge chairs, the umbrella, some beverages. I may not be doing any snorkeling in here, but it sure beats being inside the office. And on today's show, we're gonna show you all the latest and hot summer gear for your adventures, whether you're doing luxury camping or you need that beach-proof makeup from our celebrity stylist. For guys, we have amazing Baja shorts. And if you're one of those people who wants a little more action in your vacation than a spa, we have some very ungirly getaways. But first, I'm taking you all the way downtown to REI Sports, where we found camping equipment that takes the rough out of roughing it. Let's go. Now here on Off Duty, we like to do our camping with a little glamour and style. Call it glamping, which is why I'm standing in the McMansion of tents. This is called the Kingdom 8. It sleeps 8, headroom to spare. I'm 5'11". There are even multiple rooms. I'm just looking for the jacuzzi. Camping's come a long way since just rubbing two sticks together, which is why we have Frank Fermat. He's a manager here at REI in Soho. This is a big tent. It is. The Kingdom 8. I mean, how, what are the dimensions on it? It's 12 and a half by 8 and a half feet. You can fit about eight people in here, depending on how you fit everyone in. And it's six feet, five inches. So you can definitely fit in that tent with room to spare. Yeah, bigger than my first Manhattan apartment, for sure. The cost on this, what's this gonna set you back? 529, okay. so really not bad for a big tent. And this one in particular is pretty easy to set up if you have two people. Two people is the key. How long with two people would it take approximately? About five minutes. Now, the knock against these big tents, though, is that they're very flimsy, right? That they, they, can, they can blow away. This one's pretty stable. Once you stake it out, put the rain fly on, which isn't shown here. I, I've been in a storm in uh, Yosemite in this tent. I am not sleeping on the hard floor. What are you gonna show me? I've got something in mind. Okay. So just out this month, Sierra Design has the Zizu and Eleanor down sleeping bags. They have names? They have names. <laughs> nice. These bags are good down to 15 degrees and 20 degrees. Okay. You'll be comfortable. And what makes them special is they're a waterproof down. Inside Typically, the bag here. Inside the bag, the actual feathers are treated. So if you get the bag wet, it will still keep you warm. So those people who like to sleep in the rain, how small do these fold down to? Very small, about the size, about like that. A very big loaf of bread, very light too, like that quality loaf of bread. And now, if for those of us who are princess in the pea, um, you've got this extra mattress under here. Essential if you want a good night's sleep. And you just inflate it with a pump that comes with it? Yep, pump or your mouth. But you've got something else really cool that inflates. A little bit bigger, let's okay. go. Here in the uh, treacherous waters of Manhattan, all right, this is an inflatable kayak. This is an inflatable kayak. This will blow up in about 10 to 15 minutes. This will fit in your closet. You can take it in the back of your car, you can take it on the subway. So for somebody who's like, who just doesn't want to lug the big heavy kayak, this is the easy way to go. This is the amazing way to go, it's 36 pounds. Wow. Yeah, really lightweight, it's 10 and a half feet, uh, goes for right at around $500. That's so cheap for a kayak. It's a great deal for a kayak. Now, what kind of waters can you not go in? I mean, I'm not gonna be pulling any Meryl Streep and River Wild movie This type is stuff not a this. touring kayak. No. You will not be going for all day trips or multi-day trips in this yeah. kind of kayak. It just doesn't track like a, a longer kayak does. Life jacket sold separately? Sold separately. Looks good though. Now, Frank, this is roughing it just without the rough edges. I'm not moving from the hammock. What, tell me about it. <laughs> this is the Eno Double Nest. It's been a really popular hammock. It gets down this small. Wow. So a large bagel size. <laughs> it holds two people and you can string it up between two trees, fire escape, wherever you can find two places to lasso it to. All right, Frank, you say this can hold two people? Two people. Let's put this to the test. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> oh, you mean two people and a very heavy camera. Well done. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. Thank you. How you feel? Uh, this is the most relaxed shoot I've ever been It is. <laughs> Cut. I don't know, Frank. The, the hammock was pretty good, but this chair's not bad. What is this? They're awfully comfy. This is the A-Lite Monarch, and I'm in the A-Lite Mantis. They're <laughs> lightweight, and they pack small. Everything packs small. That's what you need. That's what we're going for. Now, I don't want anybody to call me, but this charger, it's a solar charger. Does it work? Solar charger. It's goal zero. This is the Guide 10 Plus. This will not only charge your smartphone, but it will also charge your iPad. It's got enough juice to thing. do that. It'll juice uh, about 25% of the life into your iPad. So then we can watch the Blair Witch Project and be really scared. Be really scared. Yeah, speaking of that nightmare time, time for me to turn in. 
All right, Frank, you've been a trooper, but this is where I have to leave you. We are a family-friendly show. You understand. understand? Understand. All right, but the Kingdom 8, it does sleep 8. I'm heading in, but I'm also taking reservations. Tweet me at at Gwendolyn Bounds. Now, for those of you who want to skip the spa and take your summer travel off the beaten path a bit, we have our WSJ travel editor, Sarah Clements, who's found some very ungirly getaways. I think for this first one, I don't need yoga pants. I need a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shotguns, some hunting gear. Right, all of that. Tell exactly. us about it. Where is this? Well, Georgia Pellegrini, who's a pretty well-known blogger, author, she wrote a book called Girl Hunter. She is hosting a weekend girl hunter getaway in Montana. and. It is very ungirly stuff. It's the kind of activities that you usually think of as guy turf. There's going to be bird hunting and horseback riding and clay shooting. But that said, it's not really a roughing it experience. Exactly. The digs are in really nice log cabins and they're gourmet meals the whole weekend. I assume they provide you with all the ammo. No need to pack your own. No need to pack your own or try to get it on a flight. All right, now that one sounds like it's for me. There's another one that yeah, I think you head south. It's, uh, it has to do with sewing, but not sewing like you think, kind of manly sewing. Manly sewing, <laughs> manly yeah. Sewing. So um, Natalie Channon, who is this Alabama-based couturier who has a cult following, her, her clothes sell for for more than, more than I can right. generally more, afford. Right, but they're incredibly beautiful and made with these traditional embroidery and quilting techniques all locally in Alabama. Well, she is doing a retreat to Taos, New Mexico, where you can learn how to make your own high-end garment for the weekend. But in addition to that, do meditation classes or yoga classes or go hiking. And that too is in a really lovely historic inn and comes with all this great food. So you're not cooped up with a Singer sewing machine, like no. with a little lace doilies and things like that. All right. <laughs> no, you're in a gorgeous setting and, and, and learning to do some pretty sophisticated stuff, but also getting outdoors. Now this final one though, I'm gonna have to channel my inner Spider-Man, right? <laughs> you and me both. Right. Yeah, so um, there is an organization called Girls Climbing, and they are one of the premier organizations that does rock climbing and ice climbing for women, by women. So they are hosting in July a, um, a getaway in Wisconsin for all levels of climbers, where they will teach beginners how to get up those rocks, and they'll teach advanced climbers how to how to go smoother and even how to teach other people. Very cool. Yeah. I assume like uh, uh, there are going to be no pink guns at any of these. Pink, pink is optional. I don't. <laughs> I right. don't think so. And you know, for the uh, for the rock climbing excursion, also gears included. You just show up ready to go. You don't have to bring ropes. You don't have to bring a tent. You don't have to bring your own s'mores. They're all provided. Can you bring a guy if you want to, or no for men? The, uh, you know, I think for a couple of these, if you if you really want to bring a, a guy on the girl hunter weekend, you're welcome. If you want to bring a dude to, to sew, I'm sure he'd be welcome to. All right, Sarah Clements, I'm going to channel my Annie Oakley and look into that first one. Thanks for being with us. Sure. Now, one of the hardest things for guys I know in the summer is finding a pair of shorts that will work hanging out with friends and family, but also when you're socializing with your work colleagues. Well, Paula Knight, she's our senior fashion editor at Off Duty, she has found the right short. It is the Baja short, like Jason's wearing over here. Why is this so good, Paula? Well, we really love the. Um, Baja surfer look, but we wanted to clean it up a little bit and give it for every man. And so we thought these shorts were really great. These are by Berkman Brothers, for instance. They really give that textile, the weave, and yet have that fun summer trend that's a little bit tribal feeling also. Give us a spin, Jason. I know you can do it. There we go. Now, in terms of the length, is this length sort of the appropriate length for people? Yeah, I mean, I think if you're a little bit younger, you can go a little bit shorter. I think it's the rule with, you know, younger women and younger men. But I think you can have a little bit of fun with it and play with it. A little bit of a longer one might make it a little bit more work appropriate. And, you Good know. Good job, Jason. You can take a seat in the nice lounge chair there balls for you. And here are a couple other models. This one, for instance, it's not quite as loud. Right. So, you know, right. this guy can wear it with a white button down, with a navy button down. It's a little bit more conservative. Down. You could do that. Yeah, I think that makes it a little bit more appropriate for work or for a work event, maybe. Right. Um, and then we've got these from Urban Outfitters. These are nice. Which are a little bit more um, Rasta feeling, right. but they still keep that Baja feel and very surfer. And this could be worn, you know, with like a t-shirt and flip-flops on the other hand. They look like they could be heavy, but they're actually very lightweight. Yeah, they are. They're very open weave, so they're perfect for these 96 degree days. Yes, which we have here. Yeah. All right, thanks, Paula. Good, the Baja short. Jason, you look pretty comfy over there. <laughs> 
Camping, bumming at the beach, extreme sports. No matter what you're doing this summer, how do you keep your hair and your skin looking good through it all? Well, celebrity makeup artist Maria Mayo, she's come up with seven key summer beauty essentials. Now, she's worked for Mariah Carey, she's worked for Kelly Ripa, and now she's our makeup artist here at the Wall Street Journal. Let's see what she has to say. Flat hair, Maria, what do I do? It's so hot outside. Dry shampoo. This is a great product to use when it's humid out and your hair gets flat, or even if you've missed a day of washing. You just spray this at the root. Is, is it actually shampoo? Is it cleaning my hair? It's, it has um, some oil absorbing properties. This is perfect. See how we already, with just a few sprays, yep. we have all this body. Look like I'm back in the 80s. There, Sweet. That's right. <laughs> all right, so I just get out of the pool. I've gotten out of the beach. I'm going right. to be around people all day. What do I do with wet hair? So the best thing to do is to get yourself some silicone drops, which you can get at CVS. A few drops of this, rub it into your, the palms of your hand and work it through and scrunch while scrunch. you're doing it. That's the secret is to like really like squeeze the hair. Silicone on the hair. It's not usually the body part you think about silicone when you think on the beach. <laughs> exactly. But on with hair. But I'm on your with hair, hair. It works. <laughs> so what if I've been out running or rock climbing? I need to wash my face but I can't get to the sink. One of my favorite things to do is to keep witch hazel in the refrigerator. You can bring it with you in a cooler if you're on the beach or if you're out running or exercising. Putting this on your skin when you're really hot and dehydrated can be very refreshing. Before makeup. Before makeup. And this one actually happens to be alcohol free and it has aloe, which is really great for a sunburn. So what about when I've got a clean face and I want some, some foundation, some coverage, but I don't want that heavy, thick look when I'm hanging out on the beach? Of course. My favorite product is Smashbox. BB cream. It's full of antioxidants and SPF of 35. So it's a treatment and it's very lightweight, but the coverage is buildable. So if you like a little more makeup, you can play with it and add a little more in the areas where you feel like you need more coverage. Okay, good. Now every summer I get in a fight with a poison ivy plant and the poison ivy plant wins. <laughs> now what do I do if I want to cover it up but like I'm itching at the same time? Okay, so the best thing to do is get some over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream. A half percent works great. Mix it with some MAC face and body. It's lightweight makeup, which will counteract some of that redness that's going on and the hydrocortisone cortisone will take care of the itching. And the MAC is good because why? Why is it better than another foundation? I like it because it's really lightweight and it's non-transferable. It sets really nicely for the body. Good. So since you're solving all of my summer problems, I have very sensitive eyes and even when I wear waterproof mascara, it will still sometimes sting. Suggestions? I've tried a lot of waterproof mascaras and I love Tarte. It's a vegan line, so there aren't a lot of chemicals in this line that would make your eyes tear up and, you know, get red and sensitive. And because it's waterproof, it works great for humid weather and you won't end up with those raccoon eyes that we all hate in summer. And this is actually a really great lengthening mascara too. I love it. Long lashes and not stinging. There okay. you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, final problem. I'm out on the boat. The wind is blowing. My hair is like sticking in my lips. Yeah. What okay. do I do? Well, the last thing you want to do is put a gloppy, kind of gooey lip gloss on, especially when it's hot out. Right. So I like Burt's Bees. They have tinted lip balms that work great. There's some that are just will enhance your natural lip color. There's not a lot of shine, but it'll give you some moisture and a pop of color so that you don't feel like you're thinking. All right, Maria Mayo, we're all done, but I have a better idea. I think you should just travel with me. Done. Done. Done deal. Good. <laughs> Wendy, seriously, there's, like, Bernanke's doing stuff with the Fed, there's stuff going on in Greece and Egypt, and you're here with, with, I don't know what's in that glass, I don't know what's in that cup, and, hey Marshall, and you're being the ridiculous. the name of the show you're is You're being ridiculous. Duty. This is, okay, this is, this feels it's fun. Good. This does feel fun. You're this, liking the yeah, ball. Yeah, I, I kind of dig the ball. Okay. You know what, Marshall? Yeah. That's it for this week's show. Really? That's, these are cool. Enjoy summer. These we'll see cool. you guys in a week. Wow.